Okay, we're now going to look at the working out the angles in a triangle and what they add up together to give you. So here we've got a triangle, and it's got three angles, as all triangles will have. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dot in, in each one of the corners by the, where the angle is. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip up the triangle. Don't do this in your maths book. So let's just rip up the triangle, and we're going to rip out the three angles. There's one of the angles. There's another one of the angles. And there's another one of the angles. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the three dots together, the three angles together. And what you see is, I'll just do it again this way. What you can clearly see there is that the three angles make a straight line. So this angle, this angle, and this angle make a straight line. Now if you've watched the types of triangle video, or sorry, types of angles video, you'll see that a straight line is 180 degrees. This shows you that the angles in a triangle will always add to 180 degrees. We've looked at it for one type of triangle. If you want to do this for loads of different types of triangles, you'll always see that they make a straight line. Okay, we're going to use what we've just found out to answer a typical question. So we've got a triangle, and they've given us the acute angle to be 29 degrees. They've given us the obtuse angle to be 118 degrees, and they've asked us to work out the third angle X. If you're asked to work out missing angle in a triangle, add together the two angles that you know, and take it away from 180, because that's what you know that the angles add up to together to give. So let's add the two angles that we've given. We're given 118 and 29. So whenever we add those using the column method, 8 plus 9 is 17, so put down to 7, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1 is 4, and, plus, and 1 is 147 degrees. So the two angles together, whenever we add them together, is 147 degrees. We're now going to take that away from 180. So we're going to do 180, subtract 147. Um, we can't take the 7 away from 0, so we're going to need to borrow one. 10 take away 7 is 3, uh, 7 take away 4 is 3, and 1 take away 1 is 0. So that means that this angle is 33 degrees. Okay, uh, now we're going to do another type of question. Here we've got um, a triangle. It's a right angle triangle. You can see it's a right angle triangle because you've got the little square symbol in one of the angles. Remember, if you see one of those, you can write 90 degrees beside it. Now we've got to work out the missing angle. So we add together the two angles we know, the 90 degrees and the 18 degrees, and we take that away from 180. So our first step is to add together the two angles. So 0 plus 8 is 8, 9 plus 1 is 10. So that's 108 degrees. So the two angles add together to give you 108 degrees. We're going to take that away from 180 now to find our missing angle. So 180 subtract 108. You can't take uh, 8 away from 0, so you need to borrow one. So you get 10 take away 8 is 2, 7 take away 0 is 7, and 1 take away 1 is 0. So you get 72 degrees. So x is 72 degrees. Okay, uh, we've now got a slightly different question. The have asked us to find x, but they've only given us one angle. Now don't panic, you can see here this is an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has got two sides of the same, and they've also got two angles the same. So if this angle at the bottom is 75 degrees, it means that the other angle at the bottom is 75 degrees. Now that helps us, it means that we can work out what x is. So you add together the two angles you're given and take it away from 180. So 75 plus 75, you add those together, and you get 150. Then you're going to do 180, take away 150, and then that would be... 30 degrees. So x equals 30 degrees. So if you've got an isosceles triangle, just keep in mind that the two angles, uh, two angles will be the same in that triangle. They're not always at the bottom, but in this particular case they are. Okay, we're now going to do another question, and again it's an isosceles triangle. Uh, the angle at the top at this time is 32 degrees, and we've been asked to find what the angle at the bottom here is. Um, now again, the first impression is to think that oh, they've only given us one angle. But because it's an isosceles triangle, the two angles at the bottom are the same. So the first step in this type of question is to take the angle they've given you away from 180. 
they'll tell you what's left for the other two angles. And because they're both the same, if you half that, you'll find what one of the angles is. So, do 180 subtract the angle they've given you, the 32 degrees. <clears throat> and you get 148 degrees. So that means that the two angles at the bottom, all together, add to give 148 degrees. Because it's isosceles, it means that both of the angles are the same. So if you have the 148 degrees, you'll find what one of the angles is. When you have 148 degrees, you get 74 degrees. That means that this angle down here is 74 degrees. This one here would also be 74 degrees.